right, hey, it's JT in the big toy box here, and we have Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0, and we are going to subject this to our Lucky 7 rating system here in the big toy box. If you're not familiar with the rating system here in the Big Toy Box, we rate the cars critically in seven categories, and then we get the average of those seven categories. They get rated from one to seven. All right, so let's go ahead and run this down. Those categories are exterior, which includes paint and graphics, interior, which includes interior parts and interior parts that they use for like, uh, you know, windshields and grills and things like that. Design, which is the actual design of the car. Is it close to scale? Is it sculpted very well? You know, how does it look for a die cast sculpting? Wheels and tires, like wheels and tires, there they are. They got new wheels and tires on this one, so we know those are pretty cool. Quality control, how well is it made? Is there a lot of flash on it? Does it have clean rivets? Does it look good? Does it look like it's made well? Uh, cool factor, now that's a subjective category. That's usually just my opinion on whether I think it's cool or not. But you're always welcome to leave comments in the comment section below whether you think it's cool, whether you think you don't like it, you know, whether you love it, you know, whatever. But the cool factor is my opinion in the rating system unless someone else tells me otherwise, then maybe I will be uh, moved to change it. All right, the cost, well, now this is a uh, dollar Hot Wheels car, a dollar and 20 Hot Wheels car, so we know that it's going to get a cost factor of 7 out of 7 because the higher the number, the cheaper the car, so it's a better deal. So anyways, you can't beat a mainline Hot Wheels car. No other toy die-cast car is going to be cheaper new than a Hot Wheels mainline car. Well, maybe a Zuru Metal Machines, but, you know, I digress. Anyways, let's go ahead and run this down to the Lucky 7 rating system. Exterior, paint quality. That says Alfa Romeo on the tail there. It's got Brembo brakes on the tail. You got all sorts of different graphics from different suppliers and stuff on there. The graphics are really cool on this. The paint is awesome. It's a beautiful red, Italian red paint job. Look at the detail on the grill and the headlights there. Absolutely killer. This thing is really neat. You also get the uh, four leaf clover on the fender there. Really cool looking. But look at that. On the back again, because it's a mainline Hot Wheels car, you're only getting two or three surfaces. You aren't getting taillights. So we're going to have to ding it for the taillights. So it's going to get a six out of seven for graphics. They're great. It's not perfect, but it's really good. All right, interior. Interior is really neat. It's really hard to see here with the lighting the way it is, but it has headrests and it has details on the seats. Really kind of cool looking interior. I like this interior a lot. I'm gonna give it a six out of seven. Really cool looking interior. Design. Now, how does it look? Does it look good? Is it a good design? Yeah, it's a killer design. It's a 7.0 for me. Hot Wheels did an incredible job designing it. I love the way the windows are cut out. I love the way the uh, grill is on this thing. Everything is really cool. Even the back looks really good. So design is going to get a 7 out of 7. Absolutely killer for the design. Wheels? Well, let's see the wheels now. Oh, these wheels are so cool. These are brand new wheels for Hot Wheels that just came out on this car back last summer. This was the first car to have them, I believe. Definitely the first mainline car to have them. And they are really awesome wheels. They have these little four spokes, which you really can't see that well in this lighting. Keep moving it around, trying to get it to come in, but it's not happening. There we go. See, they have these little four spokes that look like European or Japanese racing wheels. And then they got that big chrome ring around them. They look kind of gaudy probably in the picture here with them up close, but they look really good when they're in the hand. They look really nice. Nice looking car. Awesome wheels. I got to give them a 7 out of 7. Maybe they won't be my favorites in the future, but they look really good right now. Now, quality control. Look how crisp this thing is. Look at the graphics. Look how well they are. There's no pixelation. There's no flashing on the plastic. The rivets are absolutely clean. There's the base of that thing. Look how clean cut this is. I mean, Hot Wheels knocked it out of the park here on quality control. Very, very nice quality control. They're really delivering a quality product. Awesome, awesome looking. And cool factor. Well, now, this is really subjective, I would say. I mean, some people are going to say, oh, it's cool. Other people are going to say, oh, it's not cool. 
I think it's awesome, really. This is one of my favorite cars of last year. Probably not my favorite, because I still think that the Mercedes-Benz is my favorite. I mean, it did get a 7 out of 7, and we already know this is not going to get a 7 out of 7. But the Mercedes-Benz was awesome, and this is awesome. This gets a cool factor of 7 for me, because I love the Montreal. It looks similar to the Montreal. kind of wish they'd done the Montreal. But this is really, really cool. And the more I look at it, the more I like this car. So cool factor is 7 out of 7 cost on this one well it's a hot wheels mainline car we already said it's getting a seven out of seven so that's the way it rolls right so that's really cool so let's go ahead and run this down really quick exterior it got a six out of seven that looks pretty good interior got a six out of seven design got a seven out of seven awesome awesome wheels those wheels are so cool seven out of seven quality nice quality seven out of seven cool factor now it's my opinion but i think it's a seven out of seven i dig it it's like a ferrari lamborghini great italian car italian supercar if you will uh, uh what do we got here cost seven out of seven we got 47 points we divide those by seven and we're gonna get 6.71 that's pretty good here in the big toy box a 6.71 for the alfa romeo gtv6 3.0 very awesome looking car. Really, really happy to add this to the collection. Well, go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section below. If you love it, if you hate it, let us know what your rating would be on it. At least let us know what your cool factor would be. Give it to us out of a seven, because that would be pretty cool, because we like the lucky seven system here in the big toy box. Everybody that's watched the video, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, because that really helps out with the algorithm. I thank everybody for watching. I thank you to all our subscribers. Everyone have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.